In order for you to be successful in your trade, we need to consider where volatility is headed, where it currently sits within its one-year range, and how often it's been there. In other words, volatility trend, IV rank, and IV percentile. It's a lot of numbers, and I get it. Not everyone has the time to sit down and calculate or evaluate these values. Thankfully, Bar Chart already does all the work for you. Through its new PL charting feature, you have access to every volatility metric you may need to consider a trade. To get to the new PL feature, go to barchart.com if you're not already there yet, and just search for any stock. Let's say we use Palantir in this example. Palantir has been in the news a lot. The stock has skyrocketed over the last 12 months and continues to defy logic. And say you want to get in on the action by buying a call on Palantir. Well, you can go to the left-hand navigation panel and click on long call slash put under option strategies. There, you'll immediately see a list of potential long call trades for the closest expiration date. You can change the expiration date by clicking on this dropdown. And for now, let's just keep it unchanged. To access the PL charting feature, click on the profit and loss chart button right here, or the charting icon between the price and the expiration date. And then you'll see five tabs profit and loss, Greeks, expected move, volatility, and trend. All these display critical information that can help you succeed in trading. For now, let's stick with the fourth one volatility. And immediately, you'll see the IV rank gauge, the horizontal IV percentile plot, and numerical volatility values at the bottom. You can see other values like the 5-day, 1-month, and 3-month volatility, and the lowest and highest volatility values in the last 52 weeks. But the best features of the volatility tab, I think, are the interpretations. Interpretations can go from very low to very high. It can also show if there's notable movement in volatility, whether it's rising or falling. If the 5-day average IV is at least 5% lower than the 20-day average, the implied volatility over historical volatility ratio is below 0.91, and IV is falling, so it signals a decline in volatility. On the other hand, if the 5-day average IV is 5% higher than the 20-day average, and the IV-HV ratio is above 1.09 with a rising trend, while volatility is increasing.